Hi guys, my name is Lucy Carey Shields and I'm the newest member of the AMPT support team. We just updated AMPT 5, so I'll show you some of the features of the latest revision in this video. We've now enabled conversion support for multiplex streams in BVR, DBS, H64, PSF and SHB formats, as well as some variations of formats supported in earlier versions. Convert DVR takes one of these multiplex files, converts it, and then demultiplexes each video stream, splitting them into their own individual chains within five. Under Advanced, select All, One Chain Per File in order to use this feature within Convert DVR. Single stream files also benefit from the new engine, with Convert DVR cleaning proprietary video formats with MPEG4, H.263, H.264, and H.265 streams, and also recovers proprietary timestamps. Our load timestamp filter now allows for the support of these timestamp files and adds the timestamp to files built in player. We've added a remove frames filter allowing you to select individual frames, add them to a list and remove them from your video in instances such as removing badly stabilised frames after applying stabilisation or the quick removal of a sneaky duplicate frame on a large file without the need for automatic scanning. We've added a field of view option on our correct fisheye filter, as well as some post projection tools to virtually change the orientation of the camera view. Five now allows for the use of a solid colour background in the add text filter and we've also added new macros such as date and time and date format and time format parameters. You can now also blend between the difference in video mixer with the option of blending the first video into the second and vice versa. Field shift now allows for the choice of how the empty space around the borders are filled. You can now select disable rendering in the add timestamp filter so that the timestamp doesn't instantly appear but can be used by other filters later on in the workflow such as add text. The decode library of the USB Play video engine has been updated and now includes experimental 64-bit support. Text boxes for decimal numbers now have a built-in calculator for basic arithmetic. When you generate a Word document report, you should now notice improved handling of project relative links within the report. The Hashcode tool now has a faster computation speed, avoiding unnecessary recomputations which were slowing down the process. And finally, the Copy Info tab now provides more detailed information about the operating system and hardware of the PC on which Five is installed. That's all from me for now. Make sure to update to the latest version of Five. Check out our blog, our Facebook, our Twitter and our website and make sure to subscribe for more Amped content in the future.